All right. You know, sometimes it's about the small things. Imagine a belt without belt holes. Now imagine that simple idea has led to one of the fastest growing companies in the country. ABC 10's Gabrielle Carroll joins me now to explain the surprising success behind Slide Belts. So Slide Belts is based in El Dorado Hills and the name of the product kind of gives you an idea of how it works. But before we get to that, I had to ask co-founders Brig and Michelle Taylor why belt holes were such a problem. Here's what Brig had to say. Ours, you can adjust it. There's like 30 plus different adjustments on a slide belt as opposed to, you know, the five or six that you have on a regular belt. I mean, that's not, you know, that's not a terrible catastrophe, um, but it's kind of, you know, uh, I think most people agree it's the small things in life that we kind of appreciate. Here's how the slide belt actually works. No surprise, you slide it to adjust it. It uses a ratcheting teeth on the back, and what you do is you slide it through, it engages the ratcheting mechanism, and then to release it, you just push this lever here and it slides right on out. This original slide belt sells for about $45. The newest product, the survival slide belt, sells for $180. Think Batman meets Backpacker. LED flashlight right here, fire starter rod, and then we have an AUS-8 titanium coated blade with bottle opener. I was never finished my Boy Scout, you know? I was, I was a Boy Scout, but it was like Tenderfoot or whatever it was. And, uh, I always joked, you know, I don't have to really learn how to start a fire in the wilderness. I'll just create something. They made the fire starter sound simple enough that even I could figure it out. <laughs> Gotta manhandle it. So it'll take you a little bit. Okay. Oh, there you go. That's it. Wow, second time. Brig Taylor may not know how to start a fire using sticks and stones, but he and his wife, Michelle, do know how to build a business from the ground up. The first slide belt was sold in 2008. Last year, they sold $2.6 million worth of belts. And this year, they've already nearly doubled sales. All the success uh, has been focusing on empowering others. Like, as soon as both I lose that. Both internally and externally, both within our team and our, our guests as well. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, giving people an opportunity to yeah, stand on their own. Mm -hmm. Their success recently got them the 151st spot on the Inc. 5000 list of fastest growing companies in the U.S. But when I asked Brig and Michelle what they were proudest of, it wasn't sales. One thing that I've really been proud of is the team that we've built, actually. The, the team that we have. Um, they're, gosh, I'm gonna get sentimental. Um, <laughs> yeah, solid team. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't announce which list just yet, but Slime Belts is set to be named one of the best companies to work for later this year. And it's all about that family feel. I think you could see that with the two of them together. Right. And their employees just seem to love to be there. They only work 35 hour weeks, and Brigham mm -hmm. Michelle said it's something they would have wanted at other companies, so why not do it at their company? That is fascinating. That survivor belt. I'm like doing some holiday shopping in my head right now, and I'm I sure a lot of people said, are because that is amazing. Do they have other ideas and they're going to expand their line? They do. I don't want to give away their secrets, right? Uh, but they are going to continue expanding. They love this idea of functional wearables, mm -hmm. the simple things that you wear every day that could serve a greater purpose. And it really did feel like a Batman type belt. I right. mean, Listen to me, though. Like, if I were ever in a situation where I had to start a fire, I would not be making it out alive. 